Hey guys, um, I wanted to talk about something that just happened regarding um, a call that I had with eBay that is kind of very disturbing and every eBay, every seller out there should be aware of situations like this. And I really don't know, like I wish there was something that we could do to collectively let eBay know like the injustice of certain things. So let me just explain what happened. So on my wife's account, uh, it's a Canadian account, and this person bought a uh, a patch, like a patch that you would sew onto a jacket or whatever. Um, the shipping and handling was three ninety seven. It goes untracked. It goes in Canada Post. Um, so the uh, the customer emails me this morning at seven thirty one says that he did not receive the item and then he proceeded then he op immediately opened an item not received case 45 minutes later i wake up i see the email i refund him his money and i'm like hey it's probably just delayed it's probably on route um you'll probably still get it but i'm i'm i'm, I'm taking care of you i'm refunding you right now uh and and if you know if you get it and you feel like you want to send me the money, that would be great. But obviously, I have no control over that. I'm going to sneeze in a second. I can just feel it. Um, he messages me back. He's like, hey, thanks for responding. You know, he, and, and, you know, I thought it was done. So he then leaves a couple hours later. He then leaves neutral feedback. And I'm going to read to you um, what he said. He says... I never received this item and I haven't been able to contact you. Now, had he just left it at, I never received the item, fine, right? Like if that's your experience, that's, this is what eBay always says about the customers, the buyers, that it's all about how they feel, which is complete and utter crap. Like people can feel so many different things and it might not be an accurate representation of the, let's say, truth. Um, so I get on the phone with eBay and I'm like, hey, I'm like, I explained to the customer service rep, I'm like, hey, I'm like, I'd like to have this removed because it actually portrays me as a seller who doesn't respond to my buyers, which is completely inaccurate. So the guy fills out the form, submits it. He's like, yeah, he's like, this should be no problem. He's like, I, I understand why. And, and so I, I get a, I get a message back from eBay in about 30 minutes. And it said, I'm going to read to you what it says. And this, and, and this response tells me that they actually didn't really take into consideration. <clears throat> Thank you for contacting, blah, blah. I understand how concern, concerning it is to get negative feedback. I didn't get negative feedback. I got neutral feedback. When you feel it's undeserved. I understand that you tried your best. You know, the standard. Rest assured that I'm here to help you with what you need to do next to resolve your concern as quickly as possible. We've looked into the feedback you've received for the item, and we see that the feedback solely on the grounds that this is your buyer's experience of the transaction. I have noticed that this is like eBay's MO when it comes to feedback over the last, I don't know, like six to eight months, they will totally, like the buyer can pretty much say anything. Like any, even if it's a complete and blatant lie, because eBay will say that the, the seller feels that it's a lie, but it's still the buyer's experience. <clears throat> Feedback isn't included in your seller's performance metrics, but does reflect your selling practices. Yeah, no crap. That's why I'm calling. Because you can clearly see that I responded to him within an hour, which is a pretty good response time, especially early in the morning on a Sunday on the Sunday morning. We highly suggest that you continue communicating with the buyer, so we will help to send communication as well. Like, what does that even mean? What are you going to do? And if a buyer is so butthurt, um, by not receiving a patch, a $10 patch, that he feels that I was malicious or like not, I mean, he doesn't obviously feel that I was malicious, but negative and neutral feedback should be when 
the the seller does something that is unnecessary or or malicious or intentional once you're sure the buyer is satisfied with the resolution you can ask if they would consider revising their feedback like this is just all like garbage response ebay textbook garbage um and then so after i got this i called back asked to speak to a supervisor and she was just like the most rude person like she was just like she wouldn't let me talk she was just regurgitating their rules they were saying like that they only receive they only remove feedback if there's uh like swear words if they're trying to coerce you to do something or if people put messages like vote for trump which i just thought that was the weirdest thing to say like and then i responded there i'm like so you you look at this feedback and you think this is an accurate representation and she was like well i don't really know what they mean by they couldn't get a hold of me and i'm like <laughs> i'm like you can see the message you can see the timestamps. you can see that i responded so you're basically telling me that you're going to leave a lie, a mistruth, something that is completely inaccurate and helps nobody. It doesn't help it doesn't help future customers because it's not true. It, it, it could potentially impact sales. It could potentially impact eBay not getting those sales, the commissions off of those sales as well. Like the, I, and I say to her I'm like the reasons that you're telling me that you remove feedback are bare minimums. These are like common sense things that you should do. But you can't just, you have to look at the situation. You can't just be like, oh, I have a checklist here. It doesn't fall under any of these. Nope, can't do it. Like, and I know this is only a neutral feedback, but the reason that, that I'm really annoyed about this is because this is only gonna get worse, guys. Like this is only gonna get like the impact of negative feedback for you, if you get somebody who says something like this, what if it happens two or three times and you get two or three negatives for like something that you A, had nothing to do with, completely out of your control, and it's just a complete and utter lie. Like these are things that can impact our business. And if we as sellers don't speak up, like I'm debating whether or not I want to call in and try and speak to somebody else because it is only neutral feedback, but it's also out of principle at this point. It's just like, it just feels like, like I've talked about how we are essentially eBay employees and how it is frustrating and how, you know, we do need to diversify. And this only continues to reaffirm that we're basically at the mercy of them. And that's not a good feeling. So I don't know. Let me know what your guys' experience are in situations like this. Do you just do you just take it? Like, I don't know. It's it's frustrating. And I remember I remember watching a video of a person who um I don't remember the situation, but it was like a it was a similar in the terms of that it was a neutral feedback and she was making a big deal out of it. And at that time, it was around the time when I was dealing with all the Vero stuff. And I remember thinking like, oh, it's not really a big deal. It's only neutral. And it's true. It is only neutral feedback. But it comes down to the principle of eBay not taking care of its sellers. eBay not finding um, value in holding buyers accountable to, to their experience but also making sure that all parts of the feedback are accurate and true. And, and I just feel like it's a cop-out when eBay says, well, when this customer service rep representative said, well, I don't really know what they mean by they couldn't contact you. You know, you have a brain. Like this eBay representative has a brain, but she's just hiding behind the eBay um 
like the rule, like the, the, the template that they have to read from that, that they have, that they say they have to follow. So I don't know, like I, let me know what you think about this, because I think this is a serious topic. And I think it's one that requires further thought on our, uh, us as sellers to figure out how, you know, I'm not saying we band together, but I'm saying like, we do need to let eBay know that this is not cool. Like, cause it's, you know, like I said, I made a big deal about the Vero and it is a big deal. And if you've never had one and you've never had two, if you keep selling on eBay long enough, you're going to get them and you'll find out how serious they can be. And the same thing about negative feedback. Maybe you don't have negative feedback. Maybe you don't have any neutral feedback. I've never had a negative feedback that has stuck. Um, but I feel like that's going to change like any day now, just because based on eBay's, the way they view feedback and the, the, their desire to create this environment where buyers feel heard, even at the uh, expense of the sellers. And it's like, it's the age old question where if a seller doesn't put an item up, a buyer can't buy it. But eBay doesn't see it like that. You know, they they look at it as a complete, I don't even want to say they look at it as a complete equal because they don't. They actually favor the buyers and every eBay seller knows this and every eBay seller has to tolerate it. But I don't know, like tolerating it really leaves a bad taste in my mouth at, at right now. So I, I'll, I'll do a follow-up if I decide that I want to try to fight this longer. But, you know, it is a lot of energy. I feel better discussing it with you guys and looking forward to hearing your other people's experiences or, you know, other people's opinions on this. Uh, so anyhow, we'll talk soon.